Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. We are going to read today from the book of Psalm, chapter number 24, and we're going to look at the first two verses here. And I, I remember in uh, at the uh, boarding school, I took a speech class, and I had to memorize Psalm 24 and uh, give a public speech for this. And, you know, as, as a young man, I didn't I didn't really appreciate how powerful the words were, uh, you know, to this chapter. Um, but now I definitely see just how how amazing, uh, first of all, the whole Bible is, uh, but also Psalm 24. What a great and powerful chapter uh, uh, in the Bible. Uh, but anyway, let's look at Psalm 24. We're just going to look at the first couple of verses. The Bible says, the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Before we get into verse 2, this is very, 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 very clearly saying that um, the earth and everything that is in it, um, the universe, I, I mean, everything belongs to the Lord. Everything and everyone. It belongs to God. He has absolute authority and ownership over all. And for some people, that just rubs them the wrong way, uh, especially if they really like their sin and uh, do not like God. Um, they don't. They don't like that. They don't like the fact that he's got the whole world in his hands, uh, you know, that, that everything belongs to him and, um, and he gets to make the rules, uh, you know, because people, you know, our, our sinful nature um, causes us as humans to not like being told what to do, not like, especially we don't like being told not to sin because, you know, again, our sinful nature it, you know, it, it draws us towards sin, right? Uh, it's only by the grace of God that we can um, break out of that. But nevertheless, regardless of how we feel about it, whether we like it or not, whether we want it to be true or not, the earth is the Lord's. It belongs to God. And, and everything, the fullness thereof, uh, and the world and they that dwell therein, everything belongs to God. Why? Because verse 2, For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Simply put, everything belongs to God. He has total authority and ownership of everything because he made it. He established it. He founded it. He made everything. He is the creator. Therefore, he is the boss. He makes the rules. Imagine if I were to go back in time and Leonardo da Vinci had just completed painting the Last Supper painting, which, you know, is, is world renowned. Everyone knows, you know, the Last Supper, uh, you know, the, the original uh, that had been restored. I mean, <coughs> excuse me worth a lot of money, very, very valuable painting. And, and, you know, it was very popular even then when he first uh, created it. Imagine if I were to go back in time and he had just completed this beautiful painting and I walk over and I say, you know what? I think Peter needs a mustache. I'm pretty sure Peter has him. I'm going to draw a mustache on him. Uh, and, and you know what? John needs an afro. Uh, definitely, he would look much better with an afro. You know what? Let me let me just grab my pen. What do you think he would do? He'd be like, whoa, 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 uh, whoa. What are you doing? Uh, he's Italian. Anyway, he would say, you know what? What do you do? Don't just stay away from my painting. And, and and you know, everybody would back him up. Everybody would support him and be against me. Like, no, 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 Kevin, you can't do that. You can't just walk up to his painting and draw a mustache on Peter. And I'll be like, why? What gives him the right? to stop me from doing that. I think Peter looks better with a mustache. And the answer is simple. It's his painting. It's his creation. He made it. He can set the rules. And his rule is, thou shalt not draw a mustache on Peter. <laughs> right? Uh, 
It's the same thing with the universe, the earth, the fullness thereof, and, and, and all that are in the world. It all belongs to God. He's the boss. He makes the rules because he made it. He made us. And so when he speaks, we better be paying attention. I'm out of time. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.